Hey folks, what's up? Uh, I've got a really interesting learning for you today, which is all about how to get prospects booked onto consultations. Um, interestingly, most business owners will be focusing on the sale, uh, whereas actually um, one of the things which we talk about is um, rather than looking at lag indicators like sales, we need to start looking and measuring, looking at and measuring lead indicators like the number of conversations we're having and more importantly, the number of consultations we're booking. Um, what highlighted this to me was, um, this was going back sort of fairly early in my coaching career, I was probably about 18 months in, and I had a consultation with a, um, a prospective client who was also a coach, and she said to me, Robin, I'm as good a coach as you are, but I don't understand why you're so much more successful than me. And what it boiled down to, um, because my and uh, what it boiled down to was the number of the, the amount of activity and the number of consultations. So um, the first question I asked her was, well, how do you judge success? Because you know, for example, how many consultations did you sit last year over the last twelve months? And she said, well, I think maybe it's like four or five. My response was, well, was it four or five? Because there's quite a big difference there, a twenty five percent difference. So um, she said, oh, well, I think it was five. I was like, cool. Well, in the last 12 months, I sat 125 consultations. So why do you think I'm more successful? Um, and it took her a little while. The penny eventually dropped and she said, oh, well, I guess I need to go out and book more consultations. I was like, yes, because typically most people have a conversion rate of somewhere between, and this is across the board. I didn't make these numbers up, um, but uh, somewhere between a one in five and a one in three conversion rate. So somewhere between 20 and 33% conversion rate is optimal. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, actually, my conversion rate's much higher than that. I've got a, like an 80 or 90% conversion rate. I'm a really good salesperson. Well, the reality is there's two things going on here. One, I can near as damn it guarantee that your prices are too cheap if your conversion rate is higher than one in three. Um, you're probably taking on too many clients. You're probably too busy and you're probably not earning enough money. Okay. Um, the reason why I know that is because if we were to treble your prices, I doubt that you could keep such a high conversion rate and naturally it would drop. And actually where we want to get to, we reach this really beautiful point of equilibrium. And you have to bear in mind that one, I've sat over 350 consultations over the last three years. And two, we've delivered just in the last 12 months alone, 100 clients through our accelerator program. So and one of the things we work on very heavily is pricing. So, so when you hit this optimal conversion rate of one in five to one in three, i.e. 20 to 33%, you reach this really nice equilibrium in terms of um, being able to make money and retain cash within your business and start to build up a surplus. We call it equilibrium. Anyway, so how do we get there? Um, so, and this is probably the, the crux of this video, this is the most important part. So how we get there is um, by using something called a default diary. Remember, we've got to be focused on consultations and understanding and working out how we book consultations in. And this has come through just a very simple learning, um, which, and, and I didn't inv in, invent the default diary, by the way, this... Um, uh, this came from um, one of my great mentors, a guy called Adam Brooks, but um, also he, you know, he didn't invent the default diary either. It's, it's just something which is just a really great tool that every business owner should use. Um, and and what we worked out, and, and this became apparent over the last 12 months through our, through our accelerator when um, clients were really struggling to like book the quantity of consultations that was going to enable them to grow their business and test different price points and validate and get loads of data back. And so what we realized was that most um, uh, most coaches and consultants don't actually, they wait for clients to come to them and then they have this ping pong match of, oh, well, are you, when are you free next? Oh, I'm free on this day. Oh, I'm not free of that. And we have email back and forth and stuff like that. So in this um, little mini series at the start, I introduced you to something called, um, you know, automated uh, diary booking, automated diary scheduling through um, a, a program called I, that I use called Acuity Scheduling. There's other ones like Schedule Once, etc., uh, Calendly, and and whatever else. So you'll notice in this um, how I've adapted this basic default diary here is I've just gone and put in uh, just a rough outline, some slots for consultation, some slots for coaching sessions, bit of admin and marketing stuff, and some other stuff on a Friday morning, for example. This is just a um, you know so. If, if, for example, you, as a coach, you know that you've got like a one in five to one in three conversion rate and in order to make your business work, you've got to maybe take on two or three new clients a month. 
Well, ideally, you need eight to ten consultations booking a month. What we found was, though, that when we looked at um, our clients' diaries and did a bit of a time audit with them, that they didn't put any empty consultation slots in there to fill. And this is that's a key thing which I just said there. I'm going to come back to that. Um, their diary was just super full, like for the next week or so. And so when a new prospect came to them and said, hey, I really want to work with you, normally they'd have to wait like a week, two weeks, three weeks, like a, a long time before people could actually book into their diary. And ultimately they would end up losing those prospects. So so how what happens is when people try to implement this default diary that you can see on the screen now, next week, like their diaries are full. Week two, they're kind of like six, well, 40 to 60% full. Week three, they're like 20 to 40% full. And week four, there's nothing in the default diary. So what we did is we we're like, okay, well, pick, pick if you're going to do, like do the consultations consistently on the same day each or same day and time each week. So it might be you have like two consultations on a Monday, two on a Wednesday, but put in, program into your Outlook calendar or your Google calendar or whatever it is that you use, those empty consultation slots so that when an opportunity, a prospect comes along and the opportunity arises, you can kind of book them straight in. And and so it's a bit of panic and, and it didn't quite work to start off with. But after a month, we found like a series of Mondays and a series of Wednesdays where for our, our clients, they could start to book in, like plan in empty consultation slots. Lo and behold, the, the results like were immediate. Immediately, they put in this positive intention and booked these blank slots into their diary they started like sending prospects into these empty consultation slots. And so they were consistently doing 10 or more or, you know, 10 to 20 consultations each and every month, which naturally had a knock on impact in terms of them, their business generating that much more money. So um, like, you know, just as a kind of summary of this, um, you know, make sure you set the time aside for your lead activities, i.e. consultation slots. Don't do what I did, by the way. And, you know, if you have to drive out and see prospects, make sure you put traveling time in. I used to forget to do that. And so I'd always be late. Um, you know, not anymore because we do most of our work online. Um, but the but the, put it, putting the cons, cons, empty consultation slots into your diary makes it, a, it creates time because you've then got to, if somebody comes along and says, oh, can I meet you on Monday morning? And it's, it's not a consultation, not a prospect. It's just a, hey, it's a coffee. Um, you've got to go into your diary and you go, ah, actually, I've got these two spots reserved for consultations. Now, I've, I, I have a choice now of whether I overbook those, you know, knock the consultation out and go to the coffee, or I keep that in there so that if somebody does book in, a prospect books in and says, hey, can we have that consultation? Bang, you can book it straight in. And it was that positive intention which all of a sudden started to create massive results for our clients, um, making time for the sales stuff. Like, yes, okay, delivery delivery wise, the actual coaching and consultancy work that our clients do is the thing which earns them the money, but ultimately um, they don't get clients if they're not out there selling. So there's an argument to be said that yes, clients are the most important thing in a business, but actually the most important activity in our business is the activity of, of sales, delivering consultations to prospects, getting clients over the line. And what precedes that, obviously, is marketing, which is something which we will go into in, in other videos like this. Um, but hey, listen, you know, if um, if you found that helpful in any way, just, um, uh, just, you know, drop me a quick comment or a reply and just say, hey, Rob, that was super helpful. That's made a massive difference in, um, in my business. And if you want a bit of help implementing that, then just give me a nudge because I'm more than happy to um, to jump on a call and kind of walk you through the process. But for, I know for our clients, it's made a massive difference and increased their conversion rate dramatically uh, right the way through the, um, the sort of full customer journey, just allocating that time for consultations and then gamifying it by saying, hey, we've got to go in there and we've got to fill these consultation slots up. Um, you know, hey ho, uh, hey presto. Um, they've got a busy coaching or consultancy practice. Um, I hope you found that helpful. My name's Robin Waite. I'm the founder of Fearless Business. If you want loads of tips like this, you know, just follow me online uh, um, or jump onto a messenger and um, hit me up with a message. More than happy to have a chat.